She's making $100 per hour right now with no investment, no money, just with a smartphone and a laptop. What's going on fam, Eric Ellis here, and in this video I'm going to show you, boom, we're behind the laptop, how to make $300 per day with no investment, and all you need is a smartphone and a reliable Wi-Fi connection. So, uh, if this is your first time coming across my channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribers button and hit that notification bell to join the family and get notified every time I drop some new heat, especially if you guys like money. Now, with that being said, if you guys are coming back, welcome back to the show. As stated before, $300 per day with no investment. All you need is a smartphone and a reliable Wi-Fi connection. And how do I know this works? Because if you look here in my inner circle group, uh, I have one of my members here. Uh, somebody, Evan, recently commented, hey, Wolves, let us know about your success with the system, how much you made last month. And Priscilla generated $2,600. $2,600 with the same method that I'm about to teach you guys. So, the question is, what does she do? Uh, that only requires a smartphone and a Wi-Fi connection and no financial investment required. Zero dollars. Influencer closing. Now you're probably thinking, what is influencer closing, Eric? I've never heard of that term, right? Guys, it's simply when you're finding an influencer. First and foremost, what is an influencer? An influencer is somebody who has influence. Somebody, somebody who has a large following. A big influencer is like Kevin Hart, uh, Kylie Jenner, so on and so forth. But if we're talking about micro uh, influencers, I'm an influencer. I have uh, over 50,000 followers collectively on my social media platforms, almost 100,000. So that's basically an influencer, somebody who has influence. Now. What is influencer closing? Finding an influencer who has a product but doesn't have the time or skills required to sell it and sell it for them. It's that simple. Every deal closed, you get a commission. So for example, me personally, I have products that I sell. So with that being said, as I'm starting to scale and build my business, I actually don't have the time that I used to have uh, for actually closing my own sales. So what I do is I actually outsource that, right? Now I have the skill set. I'm really good at sales. I teach people sales but I don't have the ability. But then there's the opposite side where let's just say somebody has a, a large following, they have a product, right? They have time, right? But they're just not good at sales. You can go ahead and actually fulfill that need. So the question is, how do we actually do it, right? How do we get, how do we get clients? How do we get paid? How do we actually do the actual step-by-step -step process, right? How does it even work? Well, we're gonna go ahead and cover that. Step number one. Find a niche-based influencer, right? The best places to find and get in contact with influencers is sliding into the DM or the inbox. So usually you're gonna go ahead and actually contact that person where they're an influencer. So for example, if let's just say somebody's on YouTube, right? The reason why I said slide in the inbox is because if somebody's on YouTube, you might be sliding in their, D, uh, not their DM rather, but you might be trying to find their Instagram to slide in their DM to see if you can close for them if they're a YouTube influencer. Or you can go ahead and um, like sh send them uh, uh, an email because it gives you access to that email on YouTube. Now, depending on what platform you're using, you might literally just be able to slide into the DM. For example, if you're uh, uh, trying to work with an Instagram influencer, you can literally just slide in the DM and reach out to them. Now, the question is, um, first and foremost, before you even talk about trying to bring them on board, we're gonna go ahead and do some research, right? See if they have a product that solves a problem. So. Chances are, right, if you're looking for people on YouTube, if they're making call to actions after their content and they have a link in their description, they have a product to sell. Or let's just say on Instagram, if they have a link at the uh, at, in their bio and you click it and it's a product and it's related to the content of the brand that they're building, they have a product to sell, right? Look at the price point, so on and so forth. Uh, but um, if they don't have a product to sell, there's no money to be made, right? We can't just print money out of nowhere, right? I mean, you can go ahead and actually book a, a, a consulting if they do consulting, but that's still a product, right? So whether it's a physical product or even a service that they're providing, you can be the person closing for it, but they need something to sell. And more importantly, something that sells, uh, solves a problem. So there, these are examples of influencers with products. Now guys, 
First thing that I want you guys to understand is that there is influencers in every niche. I'm gonna be breaking down influencers that I personally follow because I'm an entrepreneur, I'm in the make money online niche. I like to follow people who have brands like mine. So with that being said, I'm going to be recommending, or not recommending, right? Do not blow these people's DMs up because obviously people are gonna be reaching out to them after I make this video. So don't be the last guy, right? Don't try to compete. Find somebody. I would highly recommend not using these people who I'm rec uh, putting up here. These are just for examples because you're gonna be competing with everybody and their mother, right? What I would recommend is figure out a niche, right? Health, wealth, romance, something where there's a product. Literally look for these influencers within these different niches and see if they have a product. But I just wanna show you guys an example. So Blaine Forex, I follow him. He has 114,000 followers. He has influence within the Forex niche. Uh, and if you notice, he has 4X course. But when I click the link in his bio, he is selling signals, which is basically, it's like a continuity program. So people paying monthly payments to get access to his actual signals. So there's one offer that you can sell, or you can even reach out to him about uh, becoming an influencer to sell his Forex course. So let's just say he charges $500 for that course. You can go ahead and get him to pay you a $250 commission for everything you sell. Q Banks, he's another person in the uh, Forex niche, 92,000. Now guys, I don't do Forex, I just follow these people because I follow other entrepreneurs who are killing it, right? So 92,000 followers, he has a Forex course. I literally clicked the link in his bio and I found out as soon as I clicked the link in his bio, he's selling a course for 70, uh, $749. Now guys, the cool thing about this is that there's no sales video for this course, there's no webinar, it's literally just a landing page with a price. So imagine if you could go ahead and actually follow up with people and um, close them over the sale, you'll have a much more higher conversion rate than just the landing page. And you'll be able to answer these people's questions before they actually buy his course. And then you'll be able to earn huge commissions, right? Another one is Tanner J. Fox, right? So he, it says 1.5 million uh, Colombian uh, pesos. That's because I'm currently shooting this from Colombia right now. Um, but he, Tanner J. Fox, he basically has Amazon, right? So if you click the link, right, I got access to his course and it's a $497 course, right? So you can literally close for him. If you close at 20%, $500 is literally $100 per sale, right? That's just, a, that's just an example, right? So, um, what niches does this work in, guys? Any. If they have built a following in a certain niche, there is a demand for the products they sell. Meaning if they have influence in a niche, there's like, and I'm not talking about like Kylie Jenner, but even Kylie Jenner, like she can sell makeup. Now, obviously you wanna go ahead and find niches where there are problems to be solved, but if they built a following, usually you, they can sell products. So make sure that they have a product though. Um, guys, fitness, fitness influencers, uh, make money online influencers, entrepreneur influencers, uh, uh, guys, do your research. I'm not gonna go on uh, in depth as far as how to pick a niche, how to find a niche, how to find influences in a niche. Just do your due diligence. Figure out what a niche is. A niche is a category or a sector within a marketplace. Find those individuals. Once you find those individuals, then you're gonna go and reach out to them, right? So how to get them to bring you on board, guys. Lead with value. It's not about me. Hey, can you pay me commissions? No, lead with value. Show them how you guys provide value first. Tell them you're willing to work on a trial basis for free. Eric, for free, are you crazy how I'm gonna make? For free, earn their business. And once you close your first sale, negotiate a commission, right? Literally show them your worth first. So with that being said, how much should I charge? Is probably what you're asking. Industry standards for this specific, uh, this thing is um, 20%. So high ticket closers usually make about 20% where people who close for influencers usually make 20%. The reason behind that is because the influencer has to do all the work. Yes, you did the selling, but they have to fulfill the product. If it's consulting, they have to consult. If it's an inner circle, they have to show up every single week doing calls. If it's a course, they have to get that support, so on and so forth. So they have all the risk. You just did the selling. That's why you don't get paid 50%. But at the end of the day, most uh, most of the, these influencers aren't marketers like myself. So there's no way in hell that I pay 50%, but that's because I'm a marketer. Most of these influencers don't even know the value, right? So uh, what I would do is I would go ahead and try to ask for 50%. If you ask for 60%, you're crazy. The reason why is because they created the product, they created this blood, sweat, tears, so on and so forth. So ideally 40% would push it, go for 50%, but don't work for less than 20%. So what does that mean? If it's a $1,000 product, 
don't work for less than $200 per sale. Push for 500, they're probably not gonna do it, but show your value first, close the sale first. Once you close the sale, you have skin in the game. You have leverage because you've given them value. They see the value, they don't wanna lose you. They wanna keep on getting that revenue, so they wanna go ahead and save that time as well. So now that you have leverage, then you can go ahead and negotiate. So with that being said, also a rule of thumb, higher tier products are lower percentages and have a lower conversion rate. Meaning, obviously if I'm selling a thousand dollar product, every time I hop on a sell with somebody, not everybody has a thousand dollars or not all the leads that we're gonna be generating are gonna go in and actually qualify. So the more leads, um, not the more leads, the more, um, the higher the price point, the less leads are gonna qualify. So there's gonna be much less conversion rates and you're not gonna get paid as high as commissions, right? Me personally, I prefer to close thousand dollar products because you get paid higher commissions. Even though it's lower percentage, you still get uh, paid higher co commissions. But lower ticket products have a higher percentage, meaning it's easier to negotiate 50% of a hundred dollar product in comparison to 50% of a thousand dollar product. Somebody's probably not gonna pay you a thousand dollars to close for them, but they may pay you for a hundred dollar course, $50, right? And understand more people uh, more leads will actually qualify that and you're gonna be focusing more so on volume. So you're gonna be making more calls, closing more people at a, at a volume rate, if that makes sense. And you're gonna be able to earn higher commissions. So it all depends. It's easier to sell low ticket, but it's more rewarding to sell high tickets. So it all depends on your personal preference. I'm not gonna tell you, I told you my preference. I'm not hopping on the phone with somebody for less than a thousand dollars. I'm not selling my own products. So to each his own. Everybody has different uh, income brackets. So whatever you your financial goals are, make that happen. Now, how to secure them as a client? Guys, it's very simple. Get them results. Uh, okay, step two uh, is get them results. So the easiest way to secure a client is by putting money in their pocket and proving your worth. So here's an example. Priscilla is the person who actually closes for me. So if you look here, how did she earn my business? He paid to your PayPal, he actually called me back. So basically, she sent me a message telling me that the guy uh, uh, made a payment. So she made a $500 sell for me. And I said, hey, let's fucking go. I'm definitely going to let you close for me <laughs> with, with the crying face. So basically, she just earned the position. She, 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 like I said, money talks, bullshit walks. You can say you can close, you can say you're gonna go ahead and help me, you can say you're gonna go ahead and earn me business, but at the end of the day, go ahead and prove it to me. She proved it to me, PayPal commission, or excuse me, PayPal on my account. So I go, I went ahead and brought her on board as my closer and moving forward, she's freaking crushing it now, right? So how do we get these people results though? Yeah, Eric, cool to say, uh, just get, get them results that I earned their business, but how the freak do I get them results, right? Just relax, I'm gonna go ahead and teach you, right? So first figure out where they are marketing, right? So you need to go ahead and find figure out their distribution channel. So what is a distribution channel? You're distributing products on a specific channel. So here's an example just to give you a visual representation of what a distribution channel is. If this would go to the next step. So uh, these are my distribution channels. I use Instagram, I have 34,000 followers on Instagram. So yes, I'm an influencer on Instagram. I have 27,000 subscribers on YouTube. So yes, I'm an influencer on YouTube. Um, on Facebook as well, I don't have a much, I don't have a big, Follow me on Facebook, but my Facebook is pretty uh, engaging within a specific niche, right? So I leverage that one as well. And then I have an email list of over 20,000 people on my email list around a specific niche. So I can go ahead and actually drive free traffic to an application funnel, which we'll cover after this. And I can actually have people close those sales for me instead of me closing it. So I'll go ahead and pay. I'm the influencer. I'm paying somebody to actually close the sales for me, right? That's where you come in. So um, then once you figure out their distribution channels, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, so on and so forth, figure out how to generate leads. Guys, a lead is a prospect. A prospect is a prospective buyer, somebody who's interested in buying what the influencer is selling. So we need to generate those people. We need to generate those leads so that way you can hop on the phone with them, close it down. Now guys, there's different ways. Some people teach closing through texting, guys. Me personally, I'm not gonna go ahead and invest into something without talking to somebody. So because of that, I teach people to hop on the damn phone, close the fucking cell, and get paid. Stop being scared to pick up the phone. Guys, if you want money, if you, if you, wanna, if you wanna make bankrolls, right, you should be able to, should be willing to do, do whatever it takes, right? So 
to figure out how to generate leads. There are two different ways, guys, and the first one is the advanced method. Uh, if you're a complete beginner, you know nothing about online marketing, you know nothing about funnels, I wouldn't look into it, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. It's called an application funnel. The second way is called attraction marketing. This is more so for beginners, I'm gonna explain the difference between both. I currently use both within my business. So what is an application funnel? It's a series of web pages that allows you to generate leads, follow up and close deals. So literally it automates the process of lead generation. So here's an example of my application funnel. So my first page is basically a presentation giving people an overview of what I can help them with. So for example, my niche is make money online niche. Somebody else could be uh, fitness, so they could be, the, the product that they're selling could be helping people lose weight, so on and so forth. They may be selling uh, clients, maybe like six weeks programs to fitness. So what they would do is they would have a video explaining to them, right, how they're, what, what, how they can help them get to their ending goal, right? Now the people who actually see this video and are inspired to go to the next step, once they click the button to schedule a call, right, they're literally gonna go ahead and go to an application. So the application is where they become the lead. So that way, it's a lot more qualified leads. Uh, you can go ahead and actually put, it puts in their name, it puts in their, their certain, you can ask certain questions. Um, you can see if they have enough money to actually afford the product so you're not wasting your time. It can kind of like basically vet each individual before you actually hop on board with them so that way you know if they're a quality fit or not. So that way you can weed out the bullcrap leads and you can go ahead and hop on board with people who are actually quality. Again, this is advanced guys, but for those of you who do know a little bit about online marketing, we do know about funnels, you guys can create an application funnel. And I'm not gonna go to teach you guys how to create an application funnel, but Google it, YouTube it, figure it out, you can figure it out, I believe in you, right? Next is, uh, after they go ahead and fill out the application, it brings them to the calendar of the closer, and then once they book a time and date, uh, you accept it whether you decide to hop on or not. Once they book it, they'll get access to the booking page. They'll let them know what to expect. It'll tell them to, to, to wait for that uh, wait for that call, to be ready for that call, so on and so forth. So it's seamless. It's completely automated. You don't have to go back and forth with them. You don't have to qualify them, so on and so forth. It does a lot of the work for you, right? So with that being said, all you have to do is now you have a lead and the question is how do you how do how do influencers actually get people to this this application funnel so for example they can use youtube traffic if they're on instagram they can do instagram story swipe ups if they're creating content on, like on stories they can go ahead and actually on the headline of the actual content put the domain name or at the bottom the domain name sending people to the application funnel so figure out a way to drive traffic from that big following that these people have of these people trying to solve a specific problem and have them drive it to the application funnel and it'll be completely autopilot. All you have to do is just wait for the people who are actually uh, ready to get closed, hop on the phone, close them down, get paid a commission. Now, uh, the benefits of an application funnel is this allows the influencer to generate leads for the closers on complete autopilot without giving them access to their social media account. Now, some influencers are a little bit iffy about uh, giving access to their social media account. If I'm just meeting you, or I'm just coming across you, I'm not giving my password to my account that has 200, 300,000 followers on it, right? I'm just not doing it. But for example, Priscilla, I know her personally. I met her in person. She closes for me, so I'm willing that she has the uh, password to all my accounts, right? I trust her. Uh, but it's not gonna be like that, especially when you initially establish a relationship with somebody. So that's the benefit of, of the application. I can literally just run traffic from my social media followings and then connect uh, my closer to my application funnel and then have them close, which is another route that I do uh, with some of the other closers that I have on board for my products. Now, monetization opportunity. After the trial, if you learn how to build this, right? So if you learn how to build application funnels um, or uh, or even outsourcing, meaning, meaning going to like uh, upwork.com and looking at ClickFunnels experts or five fire will go to ClickFunnels experts, see if somebody can build an application funnel for you. Um, you can charge them for this asset. So let's just say you go on Fiverr or Upwork and somebody charges you 100 to $200, you can charge this person 500 bucks, right, for this specific asset. That's just another way that you can monetize it or you can give it to them for free, completely up to you, right? But next, guys, the next method for attracting leads is attraction marketing. So what is attraction marketing? Attraction marketing is when you're attracting leads through results, value, and lifestyle. So 
Here is an example of attraction marketing. So if you look here, I have a results based post. Want to know my $15,000 per month income stream? Comment 2K. So I literally had 37 people at the time of me screenshotting this and only 15 hours. So 37 prospects, 37 leads, 37 potential customers that my closer can close, right? And then I had a whole bunch of people comment 2K, right? Another one, so that's results. I'm leveraging the results that I'm getting. Now guys, results is for anything. Let's just say somebody is an influencer who's helping people lose weight. They can go ahead and show a transformation of somebody losing weight. Or let's just say somebody's in the Forex niche, they can go ahead and tell people, uh, do you wanna know my Forex strategy, my Amazon FBA strategy, whatever, right? Results in any niche, you're leveraging results. Next is value, so you're providing value within that niche. So if you notice, this video had five point, I, use, I like to use Instagram TV. Is this, uh, this video had 5.6 thousand uh, views on Instagram. This one had 3.8 thousand views on Instagram. So what I do is I provide value within the niche to where people go and reach out to me and they ask because they, 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 they see me as an authority, as an expert, so that way they reach out to me and they're inquiring about my business. I pass that to my closer. My closer closes the deal. I pay them a, commi a commission. Another one is lifestyle. So when you're leveraging lifestyle as a marketer, what happens is, and this is for the influencer guys, right? What you're doing is you're marketing the ending goal. So what is the ending goal that the person who's about to buy this product wants, right? If they want to lose weight, right? If it's a if it's a girl, if you're a slender, sexy girl, and you're showing like my abs and I have a beautiful body, so on and so forth, if that's what your target audience wants, portray that lifestyle. If you're selling uh, courses within like uh, helping men get shredded, be freaking beefed up, so on and so forth. So this is what the influencer is gonna do. They're gonna be providing that lifestyle. People like girls, cars, traveling, penthouses, all that extra stuff in my niche. So that's what I put on my Instagram, right? So basically, I show people the ending goal. Basically, once you buy my product, this is what you can achieve, right? The ending goal. So I sell people on the ending goal and then my product's gonna help them get there. So these are two types of marketing, but what I do, is in all my marketing, I always have a call to action. So within that call to action, it gives me more leads. So here's an example. So leads, leads, and more leads. Now guys, look, if you notice here, 2K, 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 look at all these leads. Now, basically guys, um, free consulting equals upfront value. So if they don't know about an application funnel or attraction marketing and you give them extra tips, It'll present you as an expert and they'll be more likely to hire you. So with that being said, if you teach them what I just taught you about attraction marketing or an application funnel, or if you give them tips about how to get more leads, more prospects, they're going to see you as the, as the, uh, the expert. And they'll be more likely to actually bring you on board. So step number three is to actually convert those leads into sales. So those, all those comments, how do we actually convert them? People have peaked interest. Now we need to convert them into a sale so that way we can get paid a commission. So how do we convert um, into sales? Guys, there's, there are four easy steps converting leads into cash. Guys, follow up, qualify, book a call, and close the sale. Those are the four steps of converting leads. So how to qualify? Guys, figure out their why, figure out their motivation. So you wanna ask specific questions. For example, one of the questions that I always ask is, why do you wanna make money online? Right, and then they'll tell you because I want financial freedom, because I hate working nine to five, because I hate working up for a boss, so on and so forth. You want to figure out the motivation because people are buying the solution; they want to buy the product that's going to help them fix that problem or the thing that's going to go ahead and help them get to their ending wants, goals, dreams, and desires. So you need to qualify these people. Next is do they have the resources? So I'm straight up with people. This does require money, right? So that way, this is worth to see if this is even a, a, a worth the investment of your time. How much money do you have set aside to actually invest into this thing, right? Boom, they'll give you a figure. Once they give you that figure, you'll know whether they can afford the product or not. If they can afford the product, the next thing is um, see why they should work with them. So flip it, it's attraction marketing. They reached out to you. So for the influencer, they wanna get closer to that influencer. Why should our team and my influencer work directly with you? And then what that's gonna do, is that's gonna go ahead and actually kind of make them feel as if like they're trying, like it's gonna, it's gonna increase conversions off the back end because they're gonna wanna actually work with that individual. So how to actually book the call. Once you actually qualify the individual, you're gonna book, you're somebody's just gonna ask for their name, their email, their phone number, and the best contact. So let's just say they're out of the US, you can go ahead and use their Skype or their WhatsApp or whatever. 
And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and book a solid time and date and then um, follow up with them and give them reminders, reminders prior to the call. Now, one thing that I like to tell people is be in a quiet space. Uh, make sure you actually have the time necessary set aside to actually go through this call and be very transparent with them. Let them know, look, if you don't show up to this call, you're gonna miss out on this opportunity. So be strict, right? And how to actually close. So how to close the cell. I'm not gonna go into a much depth, but guys, it's basically the intro to qualify the presentation and then close. So this is how you close any type of cell. I come from a sales background, I'm really good at sales. So if there's anybody who can teach you this, this is myself. So the introduction is basically building rapport with the individual, getting them to know, like, and trust you, uh, introducing yourself, saying your name, saying how you work with the influencer, so on and so forth, introducing the influencer. Don't talk about the product, just introducing, building that, that initial connection. After you build that initial connection, now it's time to actually qualify the individual. So you're gonna re-go over those questions if you haven't already. Figure out their why, figure out what their desire is, figure out why, they, why they're interested in working with the influencer and the products that they offer. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and actually um, also identify, re-qualify them and say, hey, so as stated before, before we invest any more time into this, this is gonna take financial resources. How much money are you willing to actually invest into yourself? How much time? So on and so forth, you figure out these questions, figure out their motivation, figure out their desire, figure out how strong they are. And the more questions you ask them and the more you get them to agree with you, the more commitments you get, the more they're gonna be feeling committed to actually purchasing that product. Next is the actual presentation. Now guys, all you're doing is literally just talking about the features, advantages, and the benefits of the product that you're selling and how that product is going to solve their problem or get them one step closer to their ideal wants, dreams, and desires. Quick example, so qualify. Why do you wanna make money online? Or not, not even, why do you wanna lose weight? Oh, I don't feel sexy anymore, okay. Um, what do you believe is stopping you from losing weight? What do you believe is stopping you from making money online? What do you believe is stopping you from attracting your uh, ideal partner, right? Depending on what niche you're in. These are different questions you guys could be asking. Why do you believe working with this influencer will help you get one step closer to achieving that goal, that, that, that goal, right? So on and so forth, you ask them these qualifying questions. Next, is once we figure that out, we're gonna transition into the uh, presentation. So then we're just gonna go ahead and talk about the product. Then we're gonna talk about social proof. So you wanna get people social proof, show people how this product has actually helped other individuals. And then you just wanna present the product. I really can't go too depth just for time's sake but just talk about the product and how it's gonna help them get to their wants, dreams, goals, and desires. So for example, uh, if you're in weight loss, this product's gonna go ahead and be a six week program, teaching you how to lose weight, be more confident. Module number one is gonna go ahead and talk about mindset. Module number two is gonna talk about the diet that you need to take. Module number three is gonna go ahead and talk about uh, the discipline. This one's gonna talk about, uh, module number four is gonna talk about the, the, the actual uh, workout plan. Then you're also gonna go ahead and get access to the community, blah, 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 features, advantages, and benefits. And this is gonna go ahead and give you the mindset you need to stay disciplined. This is gonna go ahead and give you the uh, tools and resources uh, to, to, to lose weight. It's gonna give you the dieting plan. It's gonna give you the blueprint. This is gonna give you the roadmap to that ending destination that you want, right? So I'm pretty sure you can see how there's gonna be a benefit. And then guys, you wanna go ahead and transition to the close. So you always ask for the money. Whenever somebody's doing sales, they're afraid to ask for the money. So after you present the product, just ask for the fucking money. So with that being said, let's just say it's a it's a uh, $300 product. So the best way to present a price point is start high and then go down to the actual price. So for example, um, basically, so you wanna, you wanna stack on the offer. So all the bonuses your influencer is giving you access to, so you're gonna get the six week program, you're gonna get the uh, the, the products, uh, excuse me, you're gonna get the inner circle group, you're gonna get the one strategy call, you're gonna get all this stuff valued at $3,000, right? It's usually $3,000. However, for the general public, it, it's actually $1,500 today. Now, what we're doing today, we're actually doing a 24 hour special. We only have two spots left right now. If you take action right now, it's gonna be $597, so $597. So I started at $3,000, right? And then I downsold to the actual price that we want. And then after you downsold to the product, it's time to ask for the money. So with that being said, 
Um, this is how I like to transition. So I like to say, so um, with that being said, do you, have any, uh, do you have any questions about the product or are you ready to get started? It's called the alternative choice. Do you have any questions about this product or are you ready to get started? And then that's gonna go ahead and give them the opportunity to ask questions or they'll tell you that they're ready to move forward and actually make a purchase. Now, if they give you questions or objections, literally just overcome them or even just uh, answer their questions. And then you're gonna go to what is called the hard close. The hard close is basically saying, so um, with that being said, hopefully that answers all of your questions. Then you're just gonna ask for the money. Do you wanna use PayPal or do you want me to just send you the order form and we can use the order form? Whatever payment options you have, use two different payment methods, right? Do you want to do this option or this option? Then they'll say PayPal. Okay, cool. I'm going to send you the link. And you're going to walk them through. I'm going to send you the link. We're going to handle this while we're on the phone. And then I'm going to onboard you, give you access, get you access, get you connected with Eric or whoever your influencer is, get you connected with that influencer, get you access to all the programs, get you access to everything you paid for. And then you want to go ahead and actually tell them. And after that's done, you'll be one step closer to boom, insert, and then go to losing weight just like you've always wanted to. So let's do PayPal. Here's the email that we need, or let's do the link. Let me go ahead and send you the link. What's the best email for me to send the link? Blah, 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 right? Now, I know I threw a lot at you guys. If you need within the last three minutes of me talking about the closing portion, three to five minutes, rewind it, keep on watching it over and over and over again. But that's how you guys close. And then guys, does this really work? So let me go ahead and actually show you guys some case studies. So Facebook case study. So um, here's my inbox in Facebook. I actually qualified this individual. So I said, hey, Carlos, you recently commented. So I had a call to action telling people, if you want more information, comment 1, 1K, right? So this is me generating leads using attraction marketing. If you want more details, right? He said, yes. I said, hey, sorry for the delay. Been a little uh, busy, bit busy, but do you currently have an online business or are you trying to get off the ground or, or are you a complete beginner? That's the first qualifying question, beginner. Why do you want to make money online? Freedom and a regular job. So that's another qualifying question. Respect, so like any other business, this requires time and money. How much money do you currently have that you're willing and able to leverage to start an online business? That's another qualifying question. Not much to be honest, uh, what's the minimum I need? I said, just give me a number, you're working with uh, you're working with it and I'll point you in the right direction. He said $500. I said, if you like, I can set up a discovery call with you and my operations manager, aka my closer, right? And if uh, see if you'll be a good fit for my mentorship. I don't just bring anyone on board. I have a strict guidelines and I have her vet each individual one by one. Let me know if you want me to set that up. Yes, you can do that. When the time, uh, uh, I said, when's the next time you can set an hour aside? We had this evening on Monday morning or I said, no, we have this evening or Monday morning. What works better for you? So that's an example of alternative choice. Is tomorrow afternoon possible? I said, let me check. I said, yes, which time works? He said, 3 p.m. My bad, my account was hacked last night. I said, all good. I said, is tomorrow afternoon possible? I said, let me check. I said, yes, which time works? He said, 3 p.m. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, I put the wrong picture. But basically what happened was uh, let me confirm with Priscilla. So if you notice, oh, there we go. No, it's not the wrong one. So I said, all good, 3 p.m. is currently 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I said, how about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time? He said, yes, here's my number. He gave me the number. I gave my mom, my the number to Priscilla. She followed up at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is a message that Priscilla sent me. She said, I got off the call. He said he didn't have the money, his card and no money in his bank and has to run to the bank to call me back. I don't know if that's an excuse to get off the phone or if he was really gonna call back. Then she followed up an hour later and said he paid your PayPal. He actually called me back, hey. I said, hey, let's fucking go. I'm definitely going to bring you on board as my closer. And uh, $450 in commissions in two days. So literally, um, she made $450 in two days with less than an hour's worth of work. That's crazy. So with that being said, yes, this works. Um, and if you guys want proof that she actually um, got the payment, there's Carlos, so we need to see the name Carlos. Carlos sent it to my PayPal and I got paid, I got paid and she got paid a commission. Now just to show you guys another platform, right? Instagram case study. So she actually qualified this individual. Um, so what I did is I had an Instagram story and I said reply mentor and 
the ment uh, he said mentor, right? That was an individual who replied to my actual call to action. She said, hi, my name is Priscilla and I'm currently working side by side with Eric. He has hundreds of new messages. So to be time efficient, I'm currently handling his messages and uh, a few individuals to move forward until the next process, which would be speaking with him directly. How are you, by the way? I'm fine, and you? I'm interested in what Eric is doing and wanted to know more about what it is and how to do it. Hopefully I'll be as successful as he is. I remember him when I was in high school. We were never friends since he was a year or two ahead of me, but I remember seeing him around. Uh, that's awesome. What a small world, LOL. Why do you personally want to make money online? Qualifying question number one. I'm just ready to be financially free. So guys, this is when they're gonna tell you the why. Remember I told you, you ask these questions, why do you wanna lose weight? Why do you wanna track out this sex? They're gonna tell you their why, right? Their motivation. And this is gonna go ahead and build that pain point so you're gonna know how to actually close them once you get, get them on the phone. So I'm just ready to be financially free. I used to work uh, two jobs until I got fired from one of them and now I'm just struggling to make ends meet sometimes. I work every day and feel like the amount of work I put into the job doesn't equal what I should be earning. I'm tired of working for someone when I could be working for myself and make my own money with the work I, and hustle I put in. Yes, I uh, can finish school and earn a living like that, but it's really the same thing. I'm just ready to be free from all that and give my family everything they deserve. And then she responds, I'm pretty sure we can help you achieve the goal. She spelled my fucking name wrong, Priscilla. <laughs> she said, also, Eric is only working with a select handful. Is there any particular reason why we should work directly with you? So she's presenting me as an authority. So that's the question that I'm talking about. Nothing sets me apart from anyone else other than the fact that um, I'm once ded dedicated to something and believe in the process. I'll go through the ups and downs in order to achieve my goal and I'm here to do exactly that. All I want is an opportunity. So they're literally selling themselves before you even talk about any type of product. It's like they're being, they're, they're, they're like, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know how to really articulate or explain it right now, but you guys get the point. These qualifying questions get them sold. They're selling themselves. They're telling them why they need your product. And then you're going to really leverage those pain points to actually sell the product. She said, I respect that like any other business, right? Qualifying question, like any other business, uh, this definitely takes time and money invested. Are you willing and able to invest time and money into an online business right now? If so, how much do you currently have set aside to start an online business? $600 if needed, boom. He qualifies for one of my $500 products. When it comes to starting an online business, would you say you're a beginner or intermediate? I used to read up on a couple of years back, so on and so forth. Uh, and then what's the best form of contact for you and how soon are you available for a call? Keep in mind, first come first serve. And said, this is my cell, so he, he gave the cell. I can talk once I get off around seven. If that's too late, I can talk anytime. What time zone, Eastern Standard. It's 9 a.m. tomorrow, okay for you? Yeah, that's okay. I need a full, full name, email, and about 60 minutes with you in front of a computer and no distractions. So that's setting the expect expectations up front. No distractions, period, right? And making sure they know that they have to be in front of a computer, have a certain amount of time, no distractions, right? So guys, setting the expectations. Next is, um, there goes the lead, boom, we got a lead. So Marcus, and then Marcus at blah, 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 att.net. Um, and may I know how much it will cost for me to get started? Never tell them pricing through the inbox. That'll kill the deal, right? They don't even know what the product is. You can't put a price tag on something you don't even know what it is. Um, we will go over pricing during the meeting, which will fit your budget. I sent you the invite to your email. Okay, cool. Talk to you then. Hi, Marcus. I'm in the meeting. So basically Saturday at 8 a.m., which was 9, 8, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'm in Columbia. That's an hour. So she's closing for me. So literally right on the dot, she said, "I'm." that's important, guys, being prompt. She said, what's up, man? Am I talking to Eric or am I talking to Priscilla again? This is Priscilla right now letting you know the meeting is set up and awaiting your arrival. How do I join? He joined the link. What was the results? If you look here at Wolves Academy, here's my Stripe account. Marcus at att.net, so that's the same account. It's a $497 product. So she closed, she sourced the lead, so I'm paying her 30%, and that is literally, what is that? Uh, $497, 20%, that's $100 an hour. She's making $100 an hour for her time simply from closing for an influencer. So the question is, does this work? Yes, this works. 
Guys, sales is the highest paid industry on the planet. They make more than doctors, they make more than lawyers, they make more than anybody, right? She's making a ridiculous amount of money. She's making $100 per hour right now with no investment, no money, just with a smartphone and a laptop. So Priscilla made $400 in commissions in less than two hours with just her smartphone and just her laptop. So with that being said, for my real hustlers out there, I wanna go ahead and actually give you guys access to uh, this extra method. If you wanna take this to another level, you can actually create an influencer closing agency, basically hire, hire an outsource. So what does that mean? You can go ahead and actually reach out to people who are interested in making extra money. You could bring them on board as a closer, right? So learn this process first, then you bring other closers on board. And then what you do is you go ahead and find the clients so you find the clients, once you find the client, you connect that client with your closer. So let's just say you negotiate a deal for 30%, you pay your closer 20% each sale, you generate 30, uh, 10%, so now you have leverage, now you have maybe five closers working for you, you have 10 influencers that you're working with, and you're getting paid 10%. Those people are doing the work, you're getting paid some pretty good money. You're paying them more, but if you have multiple clients, you're gonna be making a pretty decent income. So I just wanted to actually throw that idea out there for those who want to go above and beyond, but I would definitely start with actually closing first. Now, some action steps. Find some influencers, guys. Basically, just start pounding the payment, do some research, figure out what niches you guys want to look into, figure out, find influencers on different uh, different platforms, make sure they solve a problem, slide in the DM, ask for a free trial, close deals, get the results, secure the client, and thank me later. That, my friend, is how you make $300 per day with no investment and with just a smartphone and a Wi-Fi connection. So with that being said, my friend, that is how you make money online with no investments and all you need is a smartphone and a laptop. Now, for those of you who are interested in closing and learning how to close high ticket sales, right? If you guys don't want to do it for influencers, I can actually show you guys how to do it for affiliate products. So that way you can actually source your own leads, generate your own leads. You don't have to deal with directly with an influencer and you guys can earn up to 500 and a thousand dollar commission. So even higher commissions than what I was breaking down within this video. Uh, as said before, it's going to be my personal mentorship included as well. I'm only working with a couple of people. So if you click the link down below, you can get access to that right now. And you will either speak with myself or somebody on my team. Yes, uh, we will be potentially giving you an offer if we feel like you're a good fit. And if we feel like you're a good fit and we give you an offer, anything that we're going to be selling you is going to be helping serve you at a higher level and help you get your one streams, goals, and desires, right? That's the whole point. Number two, the cool thing is, is that if you do go ahead and make an investment and and once you start killing it, the people who are crushing it the most, right, I will be extending the opportunity for them to close for me personally. So you get to leverage my authority, you get to leverage my following, you get to leverage my traffic to where I'm gonna be getting the freaking people who are ready to rock and roll. You just gotta close them down and close sales, right? So. I personally, when it comes to my individual closers, only hire from the inside. So if you want to work with me personally, right, not only for mentorship, but if you want to actually work with me and be a part of my huge freaking vision, right, you have to start within the inside. You have to start as a customer first. I bring people on board as customers. I change their life. Once I change their life, then they have the opportunity to work with me. I don't just bring anybody on board to work with me. So with that being said, click down below. Once you click the link down below, to be the first link down below. It'll give you the opportunity to work with me. If you like this video, hit the uh, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so on and so forth. Hit all that jazzy good stuff. And if you guys want another video that I'll go ahead and teach you guys how to make money online, there will be a video right here. Until next time, as always, Eric 